Hello everybody, it's Kevin Ho, and we are over here at 3929 and 3929B, uh, 17th Street, seeing our friend Michael and our neighbor, Michael Saltstein's listing. So you're right here in the heart of the Castro. And it's actually kind of funny, all these are corporate, or no, all these are listings. That house we've seen before, super beautiful. It's a nice compound. This is where the F car comes in, goes around here, and sits there. So you will have train noise, but you're gonna be inside your house. But this home is next to Hartford Street and it is a Queen Anne Victorian that we've seen before. You can see sort of the potential uh, next door. I think we've seen that home as well. And you can see all these arts and crafts detail are probably under all the asbestos shingles here. Now these are asbestos shingles. They advertised them in the 50s and 60s saying, what a wonderful world we live in where you don't ever have to paint again. As we can see, yes, they're still here, but well, anyway, we know from our uh, contractors, Terry McMahon Construction, TMC, that taking off these things will probably be a professional job, obviously, because you want to have remediation and probably cost eh, something in the $20,000 range. But underneath, it is more than likely than not that you'll have some of these redwood clapboards underneath and it will just improve the property value like no other. Hello, hello. So let's go on in. We've got a beautiful door here and there is Michael. Let's go in in here. Hi, Michael. How are you? Thank you for letting us walk through today. I love it. It's so beautiful. Um, I'm going to walk around with everybody. These are 10 foot two ceilings. You've got the nice big broad bay window. Now they've got old school double pane windows, but the city would probably be more than happy to see you change these out with the more architecturally consistent windows with what they want. You've got a little bit of wallpaper down here. You've got the tall baseboards and you've got the softwood. It could be the pine or the fir. It looks more like the pine here. You've got this beautiful fireplace here. And now we saw last week at the home over at Revere that they made a really cool thing. You can paint it. You can do a lot of different things. Up here, probably the original medallion. You've got the coved ceilings. But look right here. You just go all the way through and you get this nice sense of light. You've got great neighbors across the street. And you've got this. Let's see if this can measure. Let's see. It's at least 30 odd feet from here to somewhere over there. So now you go through here. There were probably pocket doors hidden behind. Not sure if they're still there or not. And then you've got this nice broad dining room here. Oh, and another fireplace. This reminds us of uh, Dan Hendel's listing over on 22nd Street. I wonder how you did on that one. I should probably check. But they had a lot of elaborate built-ins and whatnot too. But same general idea. Double parlor. You've got your front parlor. Your dining room here with the nice built-ins. You've got some cool picture uh, detailing here. And then you've got this part that is used as an office. But it's already here. The most important part is that the footprint is here. The footprint is the most important part because getting a new footprint is pretty difficult these days with setback requirements, neighborhood notification, all that good stuff. And here, it's already done. Most times, this would have ended here. We had a listing on McAllister Street where that happened here. Now, a lot of people want to open up this wall, and that's something you'd have to consult with your architects and engineers about because this is your old school kitchen. And you've got this mud room slash laundry room over here. And you've got your exit out, which is currently a roof. But you come out here, and you can see we're in the back side of Hartford over here. Or oh, actually, Hartford's over there. These are your neighbors. And this is your yard. Wow, look at that. Great setting. Now let's look up in the back. So you've got this sort of interesting structure that is just kind of screaming out to be filled in and maybe filled up. You look at what the neighbors did. And you see, yeah, they pretty much filled in. They came out a little bit there, but it all depends on your architect, on your plan, and how you want to use it. If you, has a, if you have two units, it's easier. If you only have one, well, that's a little more difficult. But again, it's something you want to consult with an architect or contractor about before doing anything. Oh, I love their trees. But this green belt here, and looking back at the side of Liberty Hill, it's kind of nice. Wow, that's a really big house too. Hey Mike, how are you? Good to see you. So let's go back upstairs. So again, remember this siding is likely 
it could be underneath there, but of course it all depends. So the kitchen is old school and vintage, like we said, but at least you have a kitchen, which is super important. Uh, wow, that is kind of amazing. And you have external, external venting. So coming through here, oh, that's a really cool medallion too. But coming through here, let's go downstairs. Oh, pardon me. Little sink here. Oh, gosh, that's a little bathroom. Go here, and let's go back down. So, coming down here, you want to see the things. Seating height, electrical, mechanicals, concrete foundation over here. That's already a good sign. This is that door that we came in. And wow, nice tall ceilings. Here is your garage. Oh, look at that. Pretty nicely sized garage. So, let's look here. So my other measuring thing, I don't know where it went, but that's why we have three of these things. This is, let's go over to the light, nine foot, no, eight foot six. That's really good. And then you've got your sheet rock around here, concrete over here, a very sand fern. He probably wants to go outside, but let's see what it is out to there. It is approximately, gosh, I need to get better. The glue at 31 feet, 31 and a half feet from there to there, which is pretty good. Again, note the concrete uh, the concrete foundation here. You've got an old school power box over here. Your water comes in probably around here as well from the street. Copper, it looks good. So let's go back over here. So coming through here, there's Mike Shaw again, leading agent at Vanguard Properties. Uh, We've got concrete foundation again, washer dryer, your main stack, concrete slab down here, and then over here you have the unfinished portion that goes out to the backyard. So you could, and probably did, have this as a separate unit because this is the other part. Now again, you have to check permit histories and sort of the use and what the city has. Uh, to see if this really is a two unit or if it's a single family house with an ADU. There's a lot of little ambiguities there too, but that's part of the game in San Francisco. Now down here you can see they did do this foundation. It looks more recent than the before. You have metal clips and it looks like they dug it out. So that's pretty reassuring. It's whether or not it's strong enough to do an addition above. Again, you have to investigate that further. Now the yard is a bit smaller, which tells me that the um, setbacks and the fill in of the or the fill or the infill is a bit, uh, you know, they've maxed it out. Let's see here from here to there about 20 feet. So 20 feet from here to there, 20 and a half feet. You probably want to update your fences, but take a look at that. It is a lovely setting. So if you were able to capture the space, do something where you can do an entrance here, maybe have a second place here. It really just depends. But what's key is the opportunity and the potential to do more, if you wish. Or you could just simply do a finish, refresh, and be happy with that. Wall here, here, and your bathroom here. Toilet back over there, shower over here. And let's go upstairs to see the upstairs. Power sub panel here, and again, the hallway that goes up to the stairs. Now, you might want to improve the stairs. You might want to do where well, you wind this so it's not tandem parking. There are so many things you can do, but let's go up here. That's the cool, exciting part. We're probably going to see some uh, houses that have been renovated and redone today, too, going up. Thank you. I'm going to follow you. No, I'm not going to follow you. Hey, good to see you. So, why well, this thing? Huh. I see. Anyway, let's go up nice and tall. Taller than usual. Usually you get that cut off, but that means you lose the closet up here. But you do have three rooms here. So here's the front room, typical for the Queen Anne style, where you've got the two closets flanking. One here, one there. Of course, it goes down, so you have some knee walls here. A lot of times people might move this wall back and you have closet this way, or they might make a bathroom out of it. Let's see how tall the ceiling is. The soft wood floors again. Nine foot five. So you've got some good potential here. Nice light. You're facing north. 
Hey Dennis, how are you? So again, no closet here, but they shifted it where you have the bathroom here. Wow, that is an amazing sink. And then over here, you've got, ah, this layout, that's interesting. Sometimes you find the bathroom there, sometimes you find it, well, rarely, you, know, you find it here, but there, but this, now take a look at this. Even a better view of the backside of, of uh, Liberty Hill here. This is over that uh, kitchen mudroom. Huh, that's really interesting. Oh, look, they've got air conditioning. They've got air conditioning here. Let's see. Huh. Oh, and this looks over... Oh, I guess it's a closet. How unusual. So it's a little unusual that this is here. Let's see how deep it is. It is almost 11 feet. Huh. Interesting. I'm not exactly sure what you can do here. If you fill this in, if you fill that in or not. Maybe you put an outdoor deck. Hmm, lots of possibilities. This is south facing down here. So it is it is warmer here. And in here, hey, don't worry about it. People add scale, you know? It's like, oh no, it's a big place, it's a little place. And you're, if you're a teen, you're like, wow, look at the ceilings. If you're big, you're like, oh, the ceilings are short, you know? So um, again, with the knee walls here, here you have the space. A lot of times you might do a dormer uh, so they could have more room. You've got good ceiling out here. I'm not sure if it's a peaked roof or not, but sometimes we will do vaulted ceilings or exposed rafters. Let's go check out this very retro. That's amazing. Uh, I'm gonna have to take a picture of that. All right. And then over here, old school tub. You know, easy to do if you just want to do a finishes, refinish everything, or if you want to do something bigger, you can. And over here is the other room. Wow, that's a really tall in a very square room, which is a little unusual. Usually, and when you have this little, ah, oh, so this must be the dormer. So they must have done this before. So this is the dormer that you can do. Sometimes people put stairs here. Maybe you will create the bathroom here. And it's 11 foot by 10. Hmm, not too bad. So you could do something where, let's say, that room is still the primary. Half of this goes to be a bathroom for that. Another primary, another bathroom for everyone else. Bedroom there, bedroom there. This could be pushed back, or maybe it becomes a sitting area, or this becomes ensuite. But you could also fill that in. Lots of possibilities. It's a different one, and it's one worthy of further thought. Hmm. Well, anyway, let me go down and. Hello. So I love that hand railing here. It's typical for this neighborhood. It's nice that it's not uh, painted over. But yeah, so coming on down here. There are a lot of people coming through. Thanks, Michael. I appreciate it. Thanks. So, wow, there is a crowd of people. Gosh, so lots of people coming through. And you can see why. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. I'm, I'm running away because you're gonna like it. There's a lot of possibility. It's it's different. Cause you know, you always see the typical Queen Anne's. Mm -hmm. This one's not, it is typical, but there's a lot more potential in the back, especially upstairs. Nice. So it's good to see you. So everybody, good to see you. This is of course, Kevin Ho out here in the Castro. The turn's over there, Market Street's over there. And um, beautiful neighborhood, iconic, great location, lots of possibility. Thanks to our friend Michael Celestine for letting us walk it through. This is a pretty cool one. And of course, be sure you can like and subscribe and we will see you at the next one. Take care, everybody.